today we're going to talk about geometric solids and actually this shouldn't be too new we just kind of need to review a little bit um, be able to identify those shapes tell what they are and how we do that so if we take a look at the pictures that I've drawn up here I've got a cylinder a cone a triangular prism a square prism a rectangular prism and I stuck a sphere here in the middle. Now these would be three-dimensional shapes so not flat shapes just like a rectangle or a square or a circle we're talking about three-dimensional be able to pick it up and hold it kind of thing. So if I'm thinking about a cylinder if I were thinking about a real object that would represent a cylinder you might think of a soda can of some kind, um, a cone I always think of an ice cream cone because you flip it over, you can put ice cream in that, right? Um, triangular prism, that one might be a little more difficult to think of an object that might represent that one, but I'm sure we could find one. Um, a square prism, rectangular prism, a Kleenex box jumps in my head when I think of that one. Um, and then a sphere, of course, I always think of the world, the globe, um, just to kind of get me to remember those. So those are a review of the actual solids themselves. And I want to touch base on vocabulary because we really need to understand these three vocabulary words because you're going to have to be able to figure out how much, or how many I should say, how many faces does a rectangular um, uh, prism have? Sorry, I couldn't think of what word I wanted to say. Um, how many edges does it have? How many vertex or vertices would be the plural form of that word? So when we think about the face, that's the flat surface of a solid. So that means I could pick up that solid and I could set it down on any of those faces, okay? An edge would be a line segment or a curve because some of our geometric shapes have curves uh, where surfaces come together. And then a vertex or vertices, as I said was plural, would be the corner or point where two edges meet. So just to get, give you a better uh, picture of that, I have an actual picture of a rectangular prism. And as you can see, I've labeled not all of them, but several um, of the vertices. So you can see right here, this would be a vertice where I have um, a point where two sides come together. So that would be this side and this side come together to form a point. So I've got a vertex here, I've got one here, 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 and here. And when we talk about a face, again, that means I could set that geometric solid on its face. It is a flat part of the shape. So this right here would be a face, this right here would be a face, this right here would be a face, this here would be a face, okay? So just to give you an idea, those are the faces, and then an edge would fall along any of these areas. So this would be an edge, this is an edge, this is an edge. I didn't mark all of them like I said at the beginning, but this will be hanging in the room for you to refer back to. But you need to know what the face is, what the vertex is, and what the edge is, and be able to count those. Okay, so you have to identify those and be able to tell me things about them. So let's say that I have a triangular prism here, and it's not the best drawing, but we'll make do. If I were going to count the faces, how many faces would I have? I want you to count them right now, see if you can figure out and get the same number that I do. Did you get five? Okay, if we think of this as a face, I'm gonna put an F for face, an F for face here, this triangle on top, this triangle on the bottom, and then we have a side that we can't see, which is on the back. So that would be my other one which would be my other one. So I've got five faces for this particular shape. Now, 
How many vertices do you see? I want you to count those up. Did you get six? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices. Okay? Now, what about edges? Okay, count those up for me. Tell me how many you got. Did you get nine? I'm going to count them like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think I was off. Eight. Because on the back side, oh, there's where I got my ninth one, right there. That back back edge that we can't see down there. So there are nine edges. Okay, so I didn't mess up. <laughs> um, but we all make mistakes and this does take practice. It helps if you could actually turn the shape around and look at it, but you're not always going to have a shape in front of you. Um, a lot of times you're going to see these dotted lines and that usually represents a side that you can't see or it's on the inside. So you have to take that into account when you're looking at the number of edges, the number of vertices, and, and the number of faces for that particular shape. So, geometric solids, you need to know what a face is, what a vertex is, and what an edge is. You need to be able to identify them and, and tell me, like if I asked you, how many faces does a rectangular prism have? You need to be able to tell me that, how many vertices it has, how many edges it has. So if you have a moment at home, you can maybe draw a picture or look at some pictures. Pick up an object, you know, like a Kleenex box at, at home if you have a rectangular shaped one or even a square shaped one. Um, and count how many edges, how many vertices, how many faces it has. And that will help you get a better understanding of where those things are hiding because you can't always see them in a picture. So I will see you in class. Bye.